does anyone, uh, no one's old enough to remember, but you've heard of a show called The Little Rascals? And at one point in time, Jackie Coogan, who played Spanky, was the most famous person in the United States. He's a phenomenal child actor. He reached adulthood and he's waiting for, you know, all of his loot and learned uh, that the parents spent it all. And the mother, you see pictures of her, you know, in fur coats and fancy cars. And poor little Jackie Coogan, after entertaining millions of people through the depression, uh, ended up without five bucks to his name. So every state in the United States enacted uh, what we euphemistically call Jackie Coogan laws, which basically say a minor cannot own anything and his parents are not necessarily in charge of it. So if I name uh, a 16 and 17 year old as the beneficiaries of my will, even if my daughter, their mother is alive, this thing has to go to court and the judge appoints someone to oversee the money. And that's called a guardian ad litem. And if you mention the words guardian ad litem to any attorney friends, their eyes will light up. It's like payday. When the judge appoints you as guardian ad litem, you get a percentage of this poor kid's assets every year while you're out on the golf course. They, they love this, uh, but you setting up your estate, you definitely want to avoid it. So what I would do is set up a little trust for each grandchild. And I don't even have to fund it now. We kick it off with a ceremonial $10. This trust can be revocable because I'm not putting anything in it that I'm concerned about losing to liabilities, right? I am the grantor. I am the trustee. Little Johnny is the beneficiary. And it says upon my death, he gets a third, a third, a third. Well, if there's only $10 in it, what is he getting a third, a third, a third of? Well, because the trust is created now and it has its own tax ID number, this little trust can be the named beneficiary on a life insurance policy. It can be the backup beneficiary on your IRA, your 401k, your TDA. Um, and this way it goes safely, you know, into the protection of this trust for the child. And I recommend you know, that you don't let them have it at 18 or even 21 because it will count against them for college financial aid. And it's totally up for grabs in the event of a young dopey marriage that doesn't work out or if they just watch Shark Tank and they think they're a genius and they invest everything and they lose it. Uh, I want to have three bites at the apple. And that's what I have in my estate planning for my kids 25, 30, 35. But whoever I've appointed has the discretion to give them what they need from their trust. Their trust can even own a condo for their benefit. So they're not deprived of anything. It's just a smarter way to go about it.